a relaxing afternoon at the beach. But today, it's both a stage and a studio. The participating artists are presenting their works along the entire Belgian coast. Mati Ansen from Spain is presenting an installation called Catalan Pavilion, Anonymous Architect. This is a copy of a house that my father built back in the 1960s and 70s. It was just a vacation house for the family, so he didn't hire an architect. Placed at the entrance of the De Nachtigall Nature Preserve, his work also provides practical information for festival visitors. If you want to go on Beaufort's voyage of discovery, you need a map. The different exhibits are scattered throughout the region. That's part of the event's concept. We want to bring the art to the people again. And so people have to, have to, to, to search. In all, visitors can walk and discover an area spanning more than 67 kilometers, like here around the city of Ostend. The Art Triennial is growing in popularity among tourists and locals alike. We always come to the Beaufort. It's famous, it's beautiful. It's very nice to have some uh, art in, uh, in the sea and all the... Uh, in the outside and not in the inside in the museums. Interesting. The Beaufort, Beaufort is always wonderful. In Ostend, you'll also find the Musée Promenade a series of installations from the artist collective A Dog Republic. It's an open museum. It's a museum without door and without wall, in a way, here. Yeah. And also it's something, it's based on the idea also of improvisation. Uh, the people could go from one side of the coast to the other side and encounter a process that we try to develop. And the process contains theater plays, music, uh, prototypes for architecture. Another of the French-Belgian collective's works is on display at the De Nachtigall Preserve, a bamboo structure that you can just look at or alter if you want. The voyage of artistic discovery takes visitors along the coast through three nature reserves. Many of the works are hidden, like this one, in a bird watching station, where you can also watch a film by Italian artist Domenico Mangano. It's maybe a little hard to get here, but I think it's great to show art at unusual venues. It presents a real challenge. Art and Nature, Beaufort 2015 offers both, and visitors have three more months to explore the open-air exhibits at this year's Triennial. 